Good morning. How is everyone? Disclaimer, this is not a tutorial. <laughs> is everyone? This is definitely not a tutorial. And wow, my color is really weird. Hang on, let me adjust that color just a little bit. It's this background. Let me see. Let me see if I can find the messy crafting mat. Hi, Marita. What time is it there? You know I always have to ask you that. Let's see. Let's put this down and see if this is better. Oh yeah, that's better for now. Hang on. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. I'm rearranging. There. That's a little better. Who's here? <laughs> Tammy. Secretary. A present and accounted for. Good morning. Uh, hi, Tori. Hi, April. What are you guys, what are you guys doing? It's early for some of you. Late for some of you. Oh, 5 p.m. Just got home from work. See? It's 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> so, so what am I up to? Well, I really need to do my nails. They are out of control. But what I'm up to is this. The new, um, oh, hang on, I got to check messages. <laughs> Janine. <laughs> Where is she? Oh. Hi, Dell Plumber. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're in Australia? Oh, Janine, you don't have a dress. There you go. Here. She's like, I'm right here. See that? Am I live? Yeah, that still looks really bright. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Oh, my thumbnail. 4 p.m. in Ireland, Tori says. There, Janine's got clothes on. Janine's making fun of my thumbnail for this video. She sent me this picture of her bookshelf and said, look, I have the real thing. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> I kind of do, but it's not, you know it's not organized. Oh, cool, Marita. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm pondering, rethinking the way I'm doing the journal assemblage collection boxes. Might be some changes today. Good morning, Donna. More to follow. Look for a, look for a recorded video this afternoon. But I had someone that purchased a box that wanted me to make the cover. I was sitting here making it. I thought, eh, because I didn't include any fabric or paper or anything for the spine in a kit, I just thought I would show you guys how I put fabric on the spine. Right? So, I've got my pages that, that are in the kit glued down to my masonite board. And I've got my spine. This is just a piece of um, cardstock glued over the chipboard because when I round my spine sometimes it leaves little marks and I don't want it to show through. Anywho, and this is just a piece of painted, I get bed sheets at the Goodwill, throw them in the washer, dryer, and then I just paint them with paint. This one I grunged up afterwards with some um, walnut stain distress ink. So off we go. So I'm going to do this, and then I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if I feel like hanging out. Yes, I use Fabri-Tac, but close your eyes, Janine. This freaks her out. When using Fabri-Tac and fabric, my pro tip to you is this. Get it on there. Get a wet, wipe, wet, wet wipe ready for your finger. Spread it out either with your finger, a tongue depressor, something if you spread it out but then you have to be quick because it dry it dries quick when you when you spread it out 
um, if you spread it out like that and not leave it gloppy, it will not seep through your fabric. If you don't want to spread it out, then put some heat and bond. Oh, I hate that put some heat and bond on the back of your fabric. All right, and that it'll protect the fabric and it won't uh, the glue won't seep through your fabric. Do the same thing with paper if you wanted to. <laughs> and this one's a little bit off, but we'll see if we can get it when we glue it down. See, that's perfect. That's a little tiny bit wonky, but it's okay. I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, I just used... Hang on. I don't have a craft lanch. See, just the cheapy full cart paint. Put down a piece of wax paper, paint it, toss it out in the sun, let it dry. Don't forget it's out there when it starts to rain. <laughs> Hello, Jose. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Marita, we need to talk about book pages. Tell me what your question was again. You asked me, what do I do with my books? or my book pages that I use. So I'm just letting that dry for a second. Swiffer. Trust me, this will look way different once I get it done. <clears throat> See, popsicle sticks. Not just for kids. <laughs> Holy wow, Danielle. Those are a couple of long days. Get a little comp time, did you? Hang on. I have that I have that email here, Maria. Let me go find it. Okay. Marita asked me this question a while back, and I keep forgetting to answer it. She asked me, how do you treat books that you use for junk journals? Do you take out all the pages at once so they are ready for the next project, or do you take out pages first when you're going to use the pages? Yes. <laughs> I'm probably the worst person to ask because I am not organized. Um... Sometimes, like if I have a book and I want to use the cover for a journal, you know, I'll just yank the whole book block out and use the cover and just leave the book block in my pile of book blocks. Sometimes I will disassemble them and leave them in piles. My suggestion is leave, you know, whether you're using the cover or not, leave the pages in the book until you're going to use them. That way, you you know, if you want to know where they came from or whatever. I've done that before, Marina. I've, I've taken a whole signature block out of a cover that I didn't like. It, it can be tricky, but it can be done. It can be done. Anybody I didn't say hi to? And did that answer your question at all, Marita? I don't know why. I, the cut my colors. My my colors are looking wonky. Whatever, it'll be fine. Don't stress, right? What are you guys all working on? So what I'm struggling with right now, like I said, I'm going to make a couple of little changes to the junk journal assemblage boxes. Um, I'm struggling now with how to price them if I make the cover. You know, what should I charge just for a cover? Please help.
Oh, good for you, Marina. Any and all input is appreciated. Yes, I'm just using a paintbrush to keep my gusset in there. I'm trying not to make too big of a mess. <clears throat> Intuitive watercolor papers. What about them? You're playing with them? This is me not keeping track of my own question. <laughs> I had two cups of coffee today. I usually only have one, so don't mind me. I want to, I still haven't, I want to make a journal out of that Amazon packaging. You know, the stuff that, the brown craft colored stuff that comes with the like padding in it. Hi, Miss Gigi. How are you? Twice in a week I've seen you. That's so wonderful. There's a lot of folks I haven't seen in a while. I wonder, you know, where they are, if they're okay. Hi, Sue. So finished cover alone or as part of... Um, as part of the box. I had a couple people interested in the cover being done and included in the box. But, of course, I, you know, I have to change the price because I'm going to let that dry for a second before I can fold the edges in. And I think um, this one, this one was just a trial run, but I think I'm going to use black fabric. It's hard to match that burgundy. 10. Eh. It takes me about two hours start to finish with sealer and everything. Morning, Kathy. So I think I might have to go a little bit more than 10 for a made cover. But I'm also lowering the price of the boxes. So those of you that have already purchased a box and paid if you, if you have paid you're going to get a little refund if you haven't paid don't pay yet because i'm going to adjust your invoices yeah that's what I, w I was thinking about well so you guys are paying for you're already paying for this stuff so yeah maybe maybe like 18 to 20 probably 20 yeah somewhere in that Somewhere in that range. All right, let's see. Is that too long? No, it's fine. <laughs> Hi, Lola. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. And remember, if you did purchase one of the kits, I um, I put some links to Zoe Tofield. She does books like this I put I think I put one link one one of Nick's tutorials um she should I think it was the one how to use an old hardcover book to make a new junk journal so she shows how you know she puts the spine on there and everything don't don't watch this part <laughs> it's, trust me it looks really good when you're done but when you're doing it it can be terrifying One of the main reasons I use Fabri-Tac for this is because it is forgiving. You know, you have a minute or two to move things around before it dries. Um, some people use tape. I can't use tape. Otherwise, my spines would always be very, very crooked. You can see that right there. I need to sand. Um, Lola, I'm putting up a new video this afternoon of the journal assemblage collection 
Maybe I should call them journal assemblage kits. I don't know. One or the other. So in them is everything you need to make a journal. So the one that I released yesterday has this digi of mine. Yeah, see that color is just not quite, it's not quite. So I'll use black fabric from now on. All right. My little sticks in there for a minute while we let that dry. I need to throw a book on there. Behold. Look at this poor old thing. Look at this poor old dictionary. Look, that matches perfectly. Oh, here, let's look at the top. All right, there. Let me look at chat. Lola, love the paint. It's fine. What is key? Yeah, okay, got it. Uh, with sealer and glue and time choice. Okay, thank you, Sue. Thank you guys for your input. Thanks, Jenny. Um, what else? See, I'm so messy. Uh oh, somebody's ringing my bell. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Oh, I will. I will. I'm going to call you after I'm done with this, Tammy. Don't you worry. All right, that should be good enough for now. Voila. So for those of you that did get the kit, you, you know, I sent the template. Do you sew the signatures into chipboard, which you then glue in the spine? I sew my signatures. I cut this out. I glue this down to a piece of pretty fabric, you know, that'll show through on this side, right? I cut this out, glue it to fabric, punch the holes, sew the signatures to this, and then this fits right in here. So you have, and it lines up perfectly. You see, it is, if you think it's short, it is. Because this is the height of your paper, which is eight and a half. This is eight and three quarters, so this doesn't stick out. Then you can put your um, headband material that's in the kit. You glue your headband right to your signature block like this. Like this. You see, whichever color, whatever, whatever. And then you have your cutie patootie little headband peeking out. It is Donna. Yes. Um, did I miss anything? And I think in, let me, hang on, I gotta turn that on. Yes, you can, Tammy. Um, going to say oh yeah I'm putting up a new video today that'll have more links in it don't worry um Marita send me a message and I'll send you a link to these if you don't want to make them you can just buy them or if you want me to send you some Make sure I'm not missing any emails real quick. Okay. All right. So that's about the size of that. I don't have, I wish I had a signature block to show you guys. But anyway, so now you see I've got my nice, got my nice gussets in there. <laughs> and you know what I use? You guys, when you take apart a file folder, keep a set of these and that's what I use when I'm putting my when I'm gluing my boards down to my see my chipboard spine is glued to a piece of fabric right so that you do that first and then when I'm getting ready to glue the board to that fabric I lay this down and it's how big is how wide is this it's a quarter of an inch and I just think it gives the perfect size gusset and if, 
Yeah, see that? See how that's not quite dry right there? I need to I need to leave this flat. I did. I did, Kathy. Do you have is it showing up on yours? You know what? I didn't block it on this. I didn't block it on this, so maybe you don't have to do it each time. You guys see the heart. So you have to do it individually. So I wonder, okay, you see the heart. Uh, now I see it. Okay, let, somebody, let's see, I'm going to read the directions. I want to see if this will work for, I don't know if you guys can do this or not. If you guys can follow the directions, if it will, um, Let's see. Kathy, you have a heart on your phone. Are you in the app? You tested it. Kathy, do you want to come on with me for a second? Because I want to see if we can figure out if you can turn it off. Yes, it is annoying, Dell. We have established that. It is off. I, it's not on my screen. Let me go. Let me go into. Um, hang on. Hold on, hold on. Uh, YouTube Studio. Un momento. I gotta look at the directions. Follow directions, Johnny. All right, so you go to YouTube Studio. You click on Create. Click on Go Live. Click on the stream tab, click edit, click customization. So my live reactions is unchecked. Boo. I don't want to throw it in chat. I don't need everybody coming in. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I tick it. Let me refresh my screen and see if it shows up now. Okay, I turned it on. I don't I don't see it. Do you guys see it now? You guys refresh your screens. Please. Look at me being a bossy. Sheesh. Still see it after refresh. All right, so it's the individual. S Sue, was it there before for you? Both computer and phone reset. Interesting. Here, let me get out of. Let me get out of there. <clears throat> hmm. Kathy, when you get home, maybe we should go on and fuss with it again and see. So I guess the next question is how to turn it off if you are a viewer, not the user. Right? Because if you're the viewer, you won't have a live control room to go into. Messy, messy, messy. Am I still here? Is this thing on? <laughs> wow, the lag. It's bad. Nobody's saying anything. It got really quiet. I wonder if it remains not visible after the first initial live as a viewer. You are in. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but I don't want to, I, I want you to be home and on your computer so we can work on it together, Kathy. Not when you're driving, you goofball. How long before you're home? He, 
you haven't had it since I got rid of it the first time. What on other what about on other channels, Sue? And people that have it, are you using the app or are you just at youtube.com? I'm always curious about that. Only on mine. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to end this stream as soon as Kathy tells me when she'll be home. And then... The spine is made of chipboard, which is glued to fabric, which is then glued to the inside. Uh, you got it, Marita. Okay, Kathy. Yeah, just send me a Facebook message when you're home. Um, Marita, I'm going to record a video today. <laughs> Surprise! And there's going to be a whole bunch of links in the description box of that video that'll show you those steps, okay? Sherry, I'm on the desktop for the longest time. I didn't have the heart till last night at Rosemary's. Okay. Whomever just made a purchase in my Etsy shop, was that digital on sale? Oh, good, it was. Okay. I didn't I didn't know if my sale was still good. My digis are 50% off, if anybody cares <laughs> and wants digis. Here is the link to my Etsy shop. You can just go to www.junkjournalshop.com. <clears throat> okay, yeah. So I will, um, here, I'll put Rosemary on my list and show her how to get rid of it. If she wants to get rid of it. There, she's on my list. And look for Kathy and I to be live in a little bit. Yes and yes, Lola. Um, let me get this video recorded. And then after you watch the video, because I'm going to put them in Etsy. But if you purchase it outside of Etsy, I'll give you guys a little discount. You know, because neither of us will have to pay all the fees. All right. So, yeah, give me just a bit. Make the video. Get it uploaded and I'm also gonna come on here with Kathy and we're gonna fight with the heart again <laughs> and yes yeah, so I have a full day we'll see you guys in a little bit bye